Hello Patchblocks community and synthesizer enthusiasts. Welcome to my new channel, which will be presenting some of my projects all about patch blocks and electronic music. Today I'd like to demonstrate one of my patches for which you'll need a MIDI controller that provides a bank of eight faders or knobs. This patch lets you shape your own wave by adjusting the faders in a sort of a graphical way. Just take a look. This particular setting would make a sawtooth wave, and indeed it does show some resemblance to the real sawtooth, especially in the lower register. Let's try something else. As this way of shaping is based on only 8 positions per cycle, the result will only be approximate. Yet on the oscilloscope and from what it sounds like, you can roughly re recognize a, a triangular wave. But with a particular new character to it. I like it a lot, others may not. But its strong suit really is everything around pulses and square waves. So let's move on to them. Nice and buzzy and much more authentic than the triangular wave, isn't it? So let's do some pulse width modulation. Um, the traditional way of pulse wave modulation would go like that. Now, with this patch, you can do pulse width modulation in a completely different way. But we're not finished yet. Press the left button to activate random mode. The patch now generates eight random fader positions. One more thing. Press the right button to activate the noise mode. And what it does is, instead of cycling through the positions, it randomly steps in between them, resulting into a noise sound, which you can slightly adjust. For example, from a very gritty digital noise. Well, to some sort of white noise. You can even play, well, sort of melodies as the frequencies, frequencies are dependent on the note you play. Finally, left and right knob control a low pass filter just for some more sound adjustment. I hope you liked this demonstration. Be invited to leave a comment as well as a thumbs up. You can download this patch among many others made by many talented people from the Patchblocks community at patchblocks.com. I strongly recommend getting one of those Patchblocks. They're inexpensive, the programming is easy to learn, and above all, they're a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. See you next time.